Hey everyone, my name is Tony Martinez, real estate developer and real estate agent here in Tulum. And today we're going to discuss what to look for in a developer when investing in pre-construction investments. Number one, is the company actually legit? Does it exist? Did you do a background check making sure that that company is consolidated and that the legal representative is indeed who you're speaking with, that they are aware of the transaction? Because a lot of times you invest into a brand name or the name of the development, but the LLC is different and it can be under somebody else's name and have a whole different set of different partners than the ones you think you're dealing with. Number two and very important, do they actually have the funds to finish the construction or are they contingent on pre-construction sales? Unfortunately, in a place like Tulum that is booming, that is getting everybody's attention, we have new developers coming from all over the world trying to get into the business, but it might be their first development, therefore they might not have all the funds or they don't have the funds and they're contingent on sales, something that in my opinion can be extremely risky to put your money at. Number three, do they have the permits to build? Now, it's not one permit, it's a series of permits. So do they have them all? And make sure that they do have them all. And for this, you might wanna hire a lawyer to make sure that the permits are legit and that you are in safe hands. Number four, make sure you get a testimony. Someone who's invested with that developer before, making sure that they had a pleasant experience from A through Z, because some developers, unfortunately, can be very difficult to deal with. And a lot of times there's no communication and you're gonna be left basically in the dark. Number five, and extremely important, make sure that you review the agreement with a lawyer, making sure that it's a balanced agreement when it comes to penalties, that you're being protected, that the developer's protecting themselves, of course, and everything that has been promised, make sure that it's in the agreement. As little as it might sound, or as simple, make sure that it's in it. If you like this video, make sure that you look at my next one where I'll be discussing what to look for in a pre-construction agreement to make sure that we are protected. And don't forget to subscribe, make sure you hit the like button and comment, tell your friends, tag your friends, so make sure we get this valuable piece of information out there.